ever wished you could automatically save your Telegram bot messages straight into a Google Sheet? Tired of copy pasting? Well, today is your lucky day. I'm going to show you exactly how to set up this awesome automation, step by step. First things first, let's open our web browser and head over to make.com. Once the page loads, we'll click the login button to get into our account. Alright, we're in the make.com dashboard. Let's get straight to it and click the create a new scenario button in the top right corner. This is where the magic begins. On the new scenario canvas, you'll see a big purple plus button right in the center. Click that to add our first module. A search box will pop up. Type Telegram into it. From the results, click on Telegram bot. Make sure it's the verified one. Now you'll see a list of things the Telegram bot module can do. We need it to watch for new messages, so scroll down a bit and under chats and updates, click on watch updates. This will be our trigger. A configuration box for the Telegram bot appears. See that webhook section? Click the create a webhook button. In the new window next to connection, click the add button. We need to tell make.com which bot to listen to. Another box pops up, create a connection. It's asking for a token. This is super important. To get this token, let's switch tabs to Telegram Web. In Telegram search bar, type Botfather and click on his verified account. Botfather is the official bot for creating and managing other bots. If you haven't chatted with him before, click Start. He'll show you a list of commands. Now, type slash new bot into the message field and send it. Or, you can click the command if it pops up as a suggestion. Botfather will ask for a name for your new bot. Let's call ours Make Telegram Bot for this tutorial. Type it in and send. Next, he needs a username. This one must be unique and end with the word bot. I'll try Make e Autobot. Send that. Success. Bot Father has created our bot and, crucially, given us an HTTP API token. This is what we need. Click on the token in Bot Father's message. It should copy it to your clipboard. Perfect. Now, switch back to your make.com tab. In that create a connection window, paste the token you just copied into the token field. Wait a second for it to process, then click the save button. You'll see your new connection listed. Now click save on the create a webhook window as well. Awesome! Our Telegram bot trigger is all set up on the canvas. Can you see it? Now, to the right of that Telegram module, click the Add Another Module button, that little semicircle with a plus. A search box appears again. This time, click on Google Sheets Verified. From the list of actions for Google Sheets, click on Add a Row. We want to add each new Telegram message as a new row. The Google Sheets configuration window opens. First, under Connection, select your Google account. If you've used make.com with Google before, it might already be selected. We'll keep the search method as search by path and drive as my drive. Now, click the spreadsheet ID field. A file picker will appear. Find and click on the Google sheet you want to use. I'm selecting my sheet called make.com. Before we go further in make, Let's quickly switch to the Google Sheets tab in our browser. In our chosen spreadsheet, let's create some headers. In cell A1, type sender. In cell B1, type message. This will make our data much clearer. OK, headers are done. Switch back to the make.com tab. In the Google Sheets module configuration, click the sheet name dropdown and select the sheet you want to use. For me, it's sheet 1. You'll see it asks if the table contains headers. The default is yes, which is correct since we just added them. Now, look for the values section. You'll see fields for sender A and message B matching our headers. Click into the sender A field. A panel will appear on the right, showing all the data we can get from our telegram trigger. On the first message from, click on first name. This will automatically put the sender's first name into our sender column. See how one point message from first name now appears in the sender A field? Great. Next, click into the message B field. In the search panel on the right, you can type message text to quickly find what we need. On the first message, click on text. This will pull the actual content of the telegram message into our message column. With both fields mapped, click the save button at the bottom of the Google Sheets configuration. Look at that. 
our Telegram bot and Google Sheets modules are configured on the canvas. Now for the exciting part, testing. In the bottom left corner of the make.com scenario canvas, click the run once button. The scenario will say, waiting for data dot dot. Let's switch to our Telegram web tab. Find the bot you created. Mine was make e auto bot. You might need to click its link from your bot father chat to open it. Click the start button in your bot's chat. Now, let's go back to make.com and click run once again, just to make sure it's freshly waiting. Okay, back to Telegram one more time. Type a test message to your bot, something like, hi, how are you, and send it. Quickly, switch back to the make.com tab, and success. You should see green check marks and little one bubbles appear above both modules. That means data flowed through. You can even click the one bubble above the Google Sheets module to see exactly what data was processed. To be absolutely sure, let's open our Google Sheets tab and there it is. My first name Om is in the sender column and hi how are you is in the message column. How cool is that? Okay, that manual test worked perfectly, but we want this to happen automatically every time, right? Go back to make.com. In the bottom left, see that toggle switch next to run once? Click it to turn it on. Now, in the Telegram chat with your bot on the left, type another message like, hey, I am AI agent and send it. Keep an eye on the make.com scenario on the right. Instantly, it triggers the green check marks flash and the one bubbles appear. That means our new message, hey, I am AI agent. Zrenia has just been automatically saved to our Google sheet. And that's it. You've successfully created an automation that saves Telegram bot messages directly to a Google Sheet spreadsheet. No more manual work.